Let's figure out which element has one proton and one neutron. To do that, we need to recognize that the number of protons, that equals the atomic number on the periodic table. So if we have one proton and we find atomic number one, we'll know which element has one proton. So on the periodic table, the atomic number is the whole number above the element symbol. It increases by one as we go across the rows or periods on the periodic table. So atomic number one, that's right here. That's hydrogen. So the element with one proton and one neutron is hydrogen. Whenever we have one proton, it'll always be hydrogen because that's the atomic number as well. So it doesn't matter so much how many neutrons we have to figure out the identity of the element here. In this case, because we have one proton and one neutron, we call this hydrogen two. This is an isotope of hydrogen, but it's still hydrogen because it has one proton. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.